Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I received is, but then you posted it to me before you. The scripture comes from Psalm 37, 1 through 6. Do not fret because of those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the God and trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in a land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him. He will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Okay, so um, this is a message for somebody. Um, You are kind of feeling as though something is going to happen to you because of something that God told you. And you are basically saying like, but you told it to me, you told it to me. So it has to, it's supposed to happen to me or it's going to happen. Like this may be somebody that, um, you are just now being called to be a prophet, or you may have just started a prophet, um, to be a prophet. Maybe, um, God is expanding the group that you are, um, that he has ordained you over or he is asking you to minister to and you're starting to receive messages for other people and you're kind of like okay is this for me and y'all i have talked about this before how it's kind of hard because um like it seems like it's an easy job but in reality um after i do videos i'm sitting here like literally being a vessel right now god is speaking through me in every single video that i make I'm conversating with God and I'm feeling different emotions mixed with how God feels and how whomever this message is for feels. And it is very draining. Like I'd be exhausted. And my husband be looking at me like I'm crazy because I was like, he'd be like, you tired after that, like for real. But it's so draining. And um another thing is it can be a mind, it can play with your mind. Like, you know, as the prophet who was relaying the messages. Sometimes I have to take a break because um, it can be very um, stressful to my personal life. Um, if I receive a message, um, a lot of times when I receive messages and dreams, the people in the dreams are people in my life. And when it is not pertaining to me, it can make me raise an eyebrow at somebody for doing something that they're not. And it can make me question things Um that you know and i have to like turn around and use the sermon and talk to god about it and you know whoever this is for god showed you something god told you about something and it's not really for you but you are starting to move like it is and god is saying stop it that's not for you and that's literally the message god is also saying um you know don't dwell too much on people who are doing evil don't stress yourself out on people who live to do evil and people that do evil things know that even if something bad was to happen to you that god got you um as somebody that has lost it all and got it back and lost it all and got it back and lost it all, it back. <laughs> like um the wonders and the miracles of god are truly astonishing and um you know um don't stress yourself or worry yourself so much that you literally cause yourself to be a shut-in. Um, I've literally just talked about it, how I had received a prophecy, a prophecy, and I was so terrified. I didn't even want to leave my house. I didn't want to go anywhere. And while the one that was for me did come true, literally as soon as I decided, you know what, I'm not staying in the house. I'm not being a shut-in anymore. I'm going to get in my car. At that time, I had my dream car, my pink kettle. I was like, I'm going to get in my car. I'm going to drive my car. And me and my son are going to go and have a good time. And the prophecy came true at that time. But one thing that I realized was that it was, it's something like some things you just cannot avoid and some things you can. And, you know, the things that you can avoid, do what you can to avoid them. But the things that you simply cannot avoid, just know that God got you regardless. You know, um, I lost that car. It was heartbreaking, but I ended up getting two cars out of that and all other types of stuff. And it's just, um, you know, if that wouldn't have happened, God wouldn't have, um, not to say that he wouldn't have been able to, but, you know, in the midst of that, in the midst of me being in a hospital, I had no choice but to sit down. 
I couldn't go nowhere. Okay, okay. We wasn't able to walk at that time. I couldn't go nowhere. Um, I'm there by myself majority of the time while I did have a lot of my family coming to visit me consistently. And it was kind of like I had to sit there and listen to God. I had to sit there and hear what he had to say. I had to. I had no choice. But before that moment, you know, I was into my modeling. I'm into my photography. I'm into doing this. I got my business. I'm working on all these collections and photo shoots every single day. And it was kind of like my days were so chaotic. I woke up at 7 a.m. and started working. And I did not stop working until I went to bed. And it was like I was moving so much and doing so much that I did not have that time. I did not have that opportunity. I, I was not moving. I wasn't sitting down enough for God to speak to me. And um, in that moment, God spoke to me. So for somebody, you're scared of what people are plotting. You're scared of what people are planning. You're scared of what people could do. And God is saying, don't worry about them. Worry about me. Don't worry about them. Focus on me. Don't, don't stress yourself about that. You know, um, you can't control what people do. You can't control how people are. All you can control is how you react to it. And that's the message. Okay. God is saying that the grass that they, they will soon wither like green plants, they will soon die away. Okay. God is saying that when people do evil, the evil that they do attaches to them. You know, um, just like the saying, what goes around, come around. And this is true. You know, God is always testing us. God is always um, giving us pop quizzes and um, taking us through different courses. And, you know, when somebody is sitting around planning something in their mind, regardless if it is good or evil, God, it, it, it captures God's attention. And they're... What they choose to do is what they're graded on. So if they choose to do evil, God takes note of it. And now guess what? They receive an evil. If they choose to do good, God takes note of it and they receive good. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.